Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here. I'm talking a little bit about the Times Square shooting uh, and particularly the, the Times Square shooter who was just some criminal thug. He, uh, they don't, I mean, they don't even know who he is or they didn't last time I heard. But the point is, how did he come to possess a gun in one of, in a city with uh, some of the most strict gun control laws in the United States? How? Because gun laws don't work. The only people who gun laws affect are legitimate, law-abiding gun owners. People who aren't going to just go out and shoot people. These aren't the people that have been doing this crazy stuff over the years. These aren't law-abiding citizens. These are nutcases. These are criminals. And they still get guns in these gun-free zones. What does that tell you? gun laws don't work they just don't work it's like drunk driving laws it doesn't keep people from driving drunk it doesn't keep people from getting killed by drunk drivers and gun laws anti-gun laws won't keep people from being killed by criminals people are already not being killed by legal gun owners like by legitimate law-abiding gun owners they're not the ones out here doing these mass murders they're not the ones doing drive-by shootings these are criminals, and they don't care about the laws. If they cared about the laws, they wouldn't be shooting people because the uh, thought of murder, the thought of manslaughter, the thought of going to prison would scare them, would, uh, would keep them from doing these things like it does with legal, law-abiding gun owners. They don't want to go to jail. They don't want to just kill somebody just to kill somebody. That's not the way their mentality is. But it's the mentality of criminals who get guns no matter what. And when you've outlawed all these guns and when the government uh, starts rounding up guns, which I can guarantee you that is the plan of the left. They want the guns rounded up. That's their, that is their plan, just like it was with the Nazis in the 1930s. Take the guns away from the people. They can't fight back when you start putting your boot heel on their neck. And uh, But anyway... Enacting more laws, creating more anti-gun laws, making things more strict, making people have gun safes, making people have all these hoops that you have to jump through to be able to get a weapon will have absolutely no effect on criminals. And we've been trying to tell these idiots on the left this for years. These anti-gun people, for years they just don't get it. And they never do. They never do. They believe the narrative. They believe what they're told. They have no interest in looking at the numbers. They have no interest in facts. All they want to do is be told what to think. And that's what the left is doing. These leftists that are in charge, they are telling the rank and file liberals and progressives what to think, how to act, and how to vote. And they're just doing it without any regard for the truth or the facts. That may end up sometime saving their life. You saw the pictures of this guy. They had some pretty clear uh, security footage of him. He didn't look like a Trump supporter to me. Yeah, I know. That's racist. But you know what I mean. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, there's just no way of escaping that. This guy is going to turn out, if they haven't caught him already. As I said, I haven't uh, checked into it uh, since early this morning. He's going to turn out to be some criminal with a rap sheet as long as his arm and he in the end he's probably not a biden supporter either he probably doesn't give a rat's ass he's president he's a criminal he's a thug he doesn't care he doesn't care about life he doesn't care about america or new york or anything else he just cares about his own little corner of the world and if that involves shooting someone who disagrees with him so be it that's the way those people think and when I say those people, I mean criminals. I don't mean anybody of any specific color. I mean criminals. They're all that way. So I don't know. What do you think? You think he's just going to end up, if he gets caught, uh, claiming, or his defense or whatever, claiming that he's a victim of white supremacy or white privilege? Uh, that's probably the line they will try to take. They will try to play the race card on this. But uh, hopefully the people in his own community will be pissed off enough over the shooting of two women and a child that they won't fall for that. I hope these communities 
are getting smarter and not dumber. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. I'll see you all later.